25. And then I want to say three years later, I got Atlanta Housewives. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. never let your age deter you from going after your dreams. Because if I would have told myself, like, I'm too old to be someone's intern at 25, I would have never been in the place in life or have the wealth of experience yeah. of doing Atlanta Housewives, which that show has single-handedly changed my career. I love so, it. I love it. So intern, folks. Intern, 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 intern. And I mean, honestly, like, it was the same way with me. Interning, apprenticing, assisting, like, just doing those things until, and honestly, like, one of the first major moments was Candy. Like, yeah. her being like, hey, I'm going to be on Housewives this season. You want to be my choreographer? And very much that tone, very much, like, <laughs> all of that. And now it's like this. But I, I love it, and I and I hope everybody really pays attention to that. Somebody else asked, um, the, well, their question was, how can they pitch a show to you? But I want to I want to streamline that question and say, what do what are the three things that you think every show pitch needs? You got to have big characters. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say big characters, I don't mean like someone who's like super loud. Um, when you look at even Love and Marriage Huntsville, you know, Melody Holt pitched me a show with her and her husband, Martell. Mm -hmm. And Melody isn't like this super aggressively loud woman. Mm -hmm. she has a, Melody is loud in the sense of she has this power. Her presence. Her presence is mm -hmm. loud and she's a star. Yeah. And that grabbed me. So you have to have that level of personality. Mm -hmm. So you got to have a great cast. And nowadays, the hardest part about pitching a show is your concept has to be big. So when you think about the encore, BET presents the encore. Um, former girl group members forming a super group and living in a house together to do it. That mm -hmm. screams big. It screams funny. It screams drama. Yeah. It screams all of these things. So you have to really think outside the box of like, What's that next level of content that can break through the waters of reality? Because we got housewives, basketball wives, love and mm -hmm. hip hop. So when you create shows nowadays in reality, it has to take things to a whole nother level that the world hasn't seen before. And that's why people have been responding to BT Presents the Encore. That makes perfect sense. My last question. What is Carlo King's number one ultimate reality TV moment? That I've ever had in my career? Uh-huh. OK. <clears throat> OK. <sighs> this is the one that I believe speaks to <laughs> my artistry. Season 7, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the cast was in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Nene Leakes and Claudia Jordan had a read fest to where the girls read each other for complete film. And it was a tennis match mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between two people who were going for blood. And it goes to show you, you don't need a drink thrown or a wig pulled. All you need is to fight with your words. And that, to me, is the element of the shows I love to do. It's like, yeah. it's easy to punk somebody, push somebody, mm -hmm. throw a drink at somebody. Right. If you can sit in your seat and you have an opponent across from you and you can read them down, you are a star. And you are. it's funny because, again, our friend is Candy. Mm -hmm. Candy will always say to me, teach me how to read because I don't have that power in my brain to just think about something so clever. And she was like, Carlos, I would just resort to fighting somebody. I, don't, I can't read. So I'm telling <laughs> you guys, reading is truly fundamental. It is fundamental. It is an art. It is an art. You can't just be out here saying everything that comes off the top of your head. And you can't be asking your gay best friends to give you lines. Reading is an art. It is an art, honey. You, act, if you want to know about the fundamentals of reading, go watch Paris is Burning. 
Go at Dory and Corey. She'll let you know what reading is about. That is your educational moment for today, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, I love, I love you so much. I adore you. I love you. You're my friend. And you know what it is. People don't know, but like, we, we know what it is. Yes. yes, we know what it is. Thank you so much. Let everybody know how they can keep up with you and everything that you have going on. Yeah, so social media, Instagram and Twitter, at the Carlos King underscore. Um, my website is kingdomrank.com, so you guys can see casting announcements, show announcements, things like that. But no, keep up with me on social media. I'm very active when it comes to my viewers because I love to hear feedback from you guys. So mm -hmm. you know where to find me. Yes. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, Carla. You're welcome, baby. Thank you, baby. I love you, babe. Mwah. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an update. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.